In this video, we're going to be checking out of the box from the folks over at Video Games Monthly. You can head over to videogamesmonthly.com and play the past into the future, as every single month you can get yourself a subscription box loaded with retro games. You like Nintendo, the original NES? You like SNES? Are you a Sega person? Well, videogamesmonthly.com every single month will deliver those games based on those systems that you co uh, collect and play on, deliver it right to your door. It's as easy as that. The June box has arrived. We're going to get this opened up and see what goodies we have inside. I have to also admit that this box seems a little heavier than previous outings. That's good. That, that seems promising. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Now, truth be told, I don't need to cut the seal on this because it arrived in a larger bag like a bagged envelope. I've already taken it out of the envelope because I felt that envelope in the video wasn't really necessary. I mean, you really want to get right to the meat and the potatoes of it all. So we're going to just get right to the box. As I open this up, you can also uh, follow the folks over at Video Games Monthly on social media. Did you also know that they have, and I know I'm sidestepping here, did you also know that they have a YouTube channel? I'll put the link down below. So if you want to head over and subscribe to Video Games Monthly, if you like this stuff, you'll like more of that stuff over at Video Games Monthly's YouTube channel. So I'll put that link down below. They always do get giveaways and uh, tons of different videos. So here we go. Let's get this started. Uh, for starters, we have a VideoGamesMonthly.com 2-Up. Congratulations, you have received two free games. Thank you for being a Video Games Monthly subscriber. You can also see one of the benefits of Video Games Monthly, where randomly uh, subscribers will get either a 1-Up or 2-Up box in containing extra games above and beyond the requirements of your sus subscription. So you might actually get some extra goodies in there that you weren't expecting. Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service that delivers retro video games to gamers who own classic gaming systems from the 80s all the way up to the 2000s. Visit our website for an up-to-date list of available systems. The library must be updated five days prior to the end of the month. So when you have specific games arrive, or let's say you've gone to a flea market or store or some garage sale where Mrs. McCutcheons is selling Billy's all old games. He's gone off to college. He wants to maybe come back and get those games. And she's gone ahead and sold them all for like a quarter. Oh, boy. Um... You can go on to their website, you can update your library, so then when you get future boxes, you'll know that you're not going to get uh, doubles or triples or whatever else that you might already have in your library. Alright, so we'll put that to the side. Video Games Monthly, we hope you enjoy our later, latest box. Please update your library on the website by adding these games and any other games you have acquired. All updates to your gaming library must be made five days prior to the end of the month. Okay, let's see what we got inside. This caught my eye first. A pair of sunglasses, shades, there's old red by the way, a pair of shades, one of the previous month's boxes I got a bottle opener, now I got myself a pair of shades still sporting the burgundy and the black coloring, videogamesmonthly.com featured on the back of the shades, I wonder if I was to wear these out in public if I would be able to see some weird disfigured skeletal uh, faced people, kind of like they live. Uh, let's see what we got for games. We got Cliffhanger for the SNES. Good movie. Never played the game, to be honest. So I can actually pop that into my Retron 5. That's what, how I that's how I rock it with the old school games, playing in my Retro 5. Retron 5. Uh, Cliffhanger, this comes to us from Sony Image Soft for, of course, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Moving along, we've also got... Dino Ricky. To be exact, The Adventures of Dino Ricky, uh, coming to us from Hudson Soft. This is for the original S or the original NES, which is really my meat and potatoes. I love my NES. Eventually I'd like to get all the original games from NES. Yeah, good luck. That's gonna be quite the endeavor. Speaking of NES, we've also got Magmax. Uh, Magmax comes to us, I guess, from FCI to play on the NES system. Uh, also to go along with that, well not necessarily in the genre of NES, but still within Nintendo's spectrum, we have Cruising USA for the N64. This is a player's choice, million seller. I did play Cruising USA back in the day. That rhymed and uh, I guess I did know that. 
Uh, yeah, I did play that back in the day. I think it was a Cruisin' USA arcade, too. I may or may not be correct by that. It's kids, adults, it's, it's okay, so everybody can play this. Until, of course, it gets sold at some garage sale for 25 cents. And lastly, we have WCW NWO Revenge. I can't tell you how excited I am to get this game. I can't even put it to words. Let me just quickly tell you that I originally had this game, and I think I was near the end of my days of really getting into playing games. I've now gone back to being more into wanting to get the old school games again. But I had given this game away to a friend. I don't regret doing it because he was a decent guy. I said, you know what, this is for you. I don't play it that often, but there you go. Then later on in life, as you have moments of these things happen in your life periodically, you think to yourself, you know what, it was a nice deed to give it to him, but man, I kind of wish, kind of wish I still had that. You ever have moments like that? That's what happened with WCW NWO Revenge, a precursor to one of the greatest games of all time, No Mercy. It was NWO, WCW NWO Revenge it is now back in the collection. Still, unfortunately, no spines, spine labels on the outsides of the cartridges. I don't know why 64 did that, but I'm very pleased as a delicious tropical punch to finally have this back in my collection. Let's once again run through all the things that we got in this month's box. We got Cliffhanger, all good games too. Cliffhanger, WCW Revenge, my favorite game I would say from this box. Cruising USA. We got Mag Max, and we got Adventures of Dino Ricky. Let's also not forget, we got some shades too. Now I feel like Roddy Piper, except I'm all out of bubblegum. If you guys like what you see in this video and think to yourself, man, this is a decent enough haul, I wouldn't mind subscribing to that. I don't blame you. You can head over to videogamesmonthly.com. You can subscribe. You may not get necessarily these games because, again, if you're a, a Sega guy over a Nintendo guy, or maybe for just for the virtue of the fact that these are randomly selected games for your library, you may not necessarily get these games, but you'll definitely get some pretty cool games in the hall that I'd like to call, and I did rhyme again there, thevideogamesmonthly.com. Again, you can subscribe to the Video Games Monthly YouTube channel where periodically you'll see that they'll have uh, contests and giveaways and all that kind of good stuff going on over there. I'll put the link down below in the video description. And speaking of subscribing, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that little link down below. You're good to go and you won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.